Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. I hope you're uh, having a good summer. I've just been on a break for a while. It was away in Norway with the family, which is an absolutely stunning place. If you ever get the chance to visit, I'd highly recommend it. Um, distant memory now and uh, getting stuck back into um, to posting again. And yeah, just getting this series going. We've been building this over the last while. The um, down here at Migro, we've got uh, soil versus soil versus hydro versus cocoa setup here. All in four by twos. Um, growing chilies, can't grow weed in Ireland, in case you didn't know. So growing chilies and um, did this before, nearly three years ago, two, three years ago, and really enjoyed it. Um, big learning experience for me. I wasn't very big into hydro so got to um, do a couple of runs with three runs in hydro of, of uh, chilies and got a bit of experience which is really interesting and yeah we got a result in the end um, go through that in a minute but um, yeah so chilies were growing I have them here They've, uh, they're cloned from a um, single plant this is the, uh, the label here. They are Jalapeno Emerald Fire. And um, here's the little plugs here. So it's two per um, per media. Got a few extras just in case. These take a long time to root. Um, and they are just rooted now. You can see the, hopefully you can see the soil is just lifting. When I pull that up. I pulled one out just a few days ago and it was definitely, um, it was about, you know, little roots about an inch long, about 25 mil long, two or three of them per uh, per clone. So they are just getting going. They are sprouting leaves again. So they're pretty healthy, so pretty happy with them. Um, and all around similar size too, so it's a good start. Um, got some other chili plants here. Yeah, just going at the moment. So I've got a few different varieties, and uh, I'm going to grow some peppers as well and some tomatoes, just to amuse ourselves and uh, have fun over the um, winter. So in terms of our setup, each uh, tent has an array four. So they're four by two tents, one point two by point six meter tents. They've got about 250 watts of LED in each of them. They're all connected and daisy chained and the same dimmer. So they will all get the same light levels. The um, environmental control as well. We have pink bird controllers to go in to um, control the extractor fan, which is up here. And um, no filters, just growing chilies, no need for filters. Um, but that will keep the environment the same in each of the areas. We're gonna have time-lapse cameras on each grow to record uh, progress. And um, yeah, we're gonna see what the difference is in plant size, the speed of growth, and final yield between these three systems. The um, soil one first. So it is uh, we are just using regular soil from our local grow shop. So this is Plagron. Could be using anything. Could be using um, peat compost. Could be using just regular soil. Best to use something which has been pasteurized. That means heated up to kill all the bugs so that you're not dealing with um, any infestations. And we are using the same line of, um, of liquid fertilizer by Canna. This is the Canna Terra Vega range. Aeropots, air pots, nice big ones here. We're not going to run out of room with these. And um, drippers, ring drippers, and a um, reservoir here for water. So we'll be hand feeding, hand feeding with this every week. And. Uh, just dripping in on a, probably a daily basis just to keep the uh, soil moist. Here we have the hydro system. This is a, 
an alien hydroponic system. It used to be four pots, I've chopped it down to two. Again, huge capacity. Um, although we are only growing two plants per tent, so be surprised how big the root balls will get, how big the plants and the root balls will get. Water here in Dublin is not great, so we'll be using reverse osmosis to uh, treat the water before putting it into the system. So take all the excess sort of mineral, minerals and solids to allow the, um, the uh, nutrients to be uptaken. Air pump, one of the things I don't like about hydro, noisy, noisy. Um, and the Aquavega uh, series, uh, sorry, Canna Aquavega series um, for growth, part A and part B. And we'll be going through the ins and outs of setting up the system, um, you know, doing the EC, so measuring the um, the strength of the nutrients and the um, pH and all of that stuff. So we'll have regular updates on that. If you haven't done hydro before, you might be interested in seeing how we get along. And similarly with cocoa, cocoa was the biggest surprise for me last time. Um, just run through the, the setup first. It's the uh, same pots as the soil. So these big aero pots, um, rain drippers again, and you know this, the cocoa doesn't hold or spread the water out very well, which is one of the advantages, it doesn't waterlog. But uh, part of the things in my experience anyway is to use the drippers because um, the ring drippers rather than the, the single spike drippers because you want the all of the cocoa to be soaked you have to feed it in uh, pretty regularly and it'll promote the roots to go out to those and promote a larger root ball in my opinion using a uh, professional cocoa it's been washed and rinsed and everything already and again the cocoa uh, sorry the canna cocoa mix two-part one and this one so yeah as I said the uh, cocoa was a big surprise for me the last time it was um, in terms of yield the soil did well cocoa did much better it was about 40 percent better in terms of plant mass and uh, maybe even twice as good anyway, significantly better in terms of plant mass and um, fruit hydro did much much better in terms of plant mass so it was two or three times the, uh, the soil not as much fruit but uh, you know the feedback in the comments about from pepper and chili growers were that um, it may have needed longer to uh, produce fruit versus the others so we'll take that into account this time we're going to go as long as we can reasonably to allow that to um, to fruit as much as possible but I think the hydro did incredibly well in the last test so you know expecting Similar this time, hopefully we don't have any problems and uh, everything comes good. Last time I had to do this thing, this comparison three times because I was learning as I was doing and I wasn't that experienced in cocoa, uh, or sorry, in hydro. And uh, yeah, I had a few mess ups and then the test wasn't fair and I had to do it again. And so expecting about three or four months this time. As I said, we'll do regular. Not weekly, but maybe every two or three weeks do an update, a main update on the channel uh, by video and uh, we'll do posts and stories as well as you go along, little tips and tricks. So um, yeah, if you're interested in that, maybe you're considering jumping to cocoa or um, trialing soil or going over, going to hydro, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully have some interesting uh, advice and uh, perspective for you. Hope you enjoyed. Click the subscribe if you want to follow this series and take care.